Okay, now that we have our website running with Next.js, we're going to create a new component for our new website. So going into templates, project, and then the name of your JSS uh, project, for me it's Cycle Headless, I will cr create insert new template, and I'll just name it demo component. Next, next, close. Uh, I'll just add two fields, one header and one description. Okay. Then I will add our template to a new rendering. So going into renderings, project, cycle headless, and we're gonna create a JSON rendering Uh, and um, we're going to set a data source template for our demo component. Okay. Save that. Then into placeholder settings, under projects, or project name, we're going to add our rendering within the main placeholder under allowed controls. Now save that as well. Now we can uh, Go back to our experience editor and try to add our new rendering. Now note we haven't actually created any of the front end yet. We just have our template and rendering. I'm gonna add our demo component and we're getting this orange box saying JSS component is missing react implementation uh, that's okay we're gonna save all of that and then we're going to open a PowerShell window and we're gonna navigate to our solution And then under source rendering, rendering being the folder where my Next.js is installed. For you, it might be a different folder, but the, the template provided from Sitecore installed it under rendering folder. So go in there and you want, you're going to type JSS, scaffold, and name of your component, demo component, for example, and this should create a very simple uh, file for a front end. Um, I already have the definition um, installed and created. But now, if we go under rendering, we have source folder and then components, and there you should have our component tsx file created and if you saw our experience editor automatically refreshed after running the JSS scaffold command so like anytime we make uh, changes to our next.js front-end the rendering host is going to detect that and reload the experience editor automatically this is a Next.js feature, which is pretty cool, and it doesn't exist on any of the other JSS applications. So here, we're going to... We have uh, some demo fields, but we're going to match them to the fields of our template. So we had a header and description field. 
So I'm going to change that to header and description. And change it here as well. And I'll copy this for my second field. And it's quite important that the name matches uh, the demo component name matches the rendering name as well. So save that and we're going to jump back and uh, we see the experience editor is refreshing but it didn't detect oh that's because we don't have a content item that's correct so when we created our rendering we didn't set the data source location and also open properties after add we can check that as well no that's fine we save it um so i'm going to remove it and add it again uh, i should have opened the create page give it a minute uh, there we go so create new content item just gonna create a new one and the fields are empty since we didn't create any standard fields for our template but that's okay We're just gonna do header so this is our header field and this is our uh, description field and um, obviously you can change this any way you want you can add a p tag in the middle just to get a line spacing uh, you know I'm, I'm not gonna bother with all of that because now we have our front end showing up and uh, we have our editable fields and that's all that matters Header test, description test, and this is how we create a Next.js component that's editable through the Experience Editor.